Hey guys, welcome back, it's Akiomati here, and today we're starting off our build with the 6x6. I apologize to you guys that it's taken a little bit longer to get this video out. I've been severely sick for the past week, and I am just now starting to feel better. My voice wasn't really up for the challenge of trying to record myself, and I still may sound a little fuzzy, so I apologize for that. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this build. With this build, I actually had a request from Garrett Hamilton to include a basement in this design, which I remodeled and did so. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I did that. To get started, we're going to go ahead and dig four down in the whole entire area. Now that we dug out our hole, we're going to go ahead and fill up the bottom with stone. We're then going to fill around the edges with cobblestone. Taking acacia wood in all four corners, we're going to bring it up all the way up above floor level. And then on the left hand side, making sure there's one space in between, we're going to bring acacia wood up as well. Anywhere that we haven't placed a block on the walls, we're going to go ahead and place stone. Now that we've laid down our floor plan for the basement, we're going to go ahead and take down the stairs. And I actually decided to make the basement accessible from the back. So along this side, we're going to take furnaces and lay them all the way across. We're going to take an anvil on the left hand side, two chests, and a crafting bench on the right. Now on the opposite side I went ahead and added extra chests for storage. To fill in the floor for our first floor we're going to go ahead and use half slabs and lay them all the way across the top. We're going to avoid the side here where the staircase is located though. To start the foundation for the walls, I went ahead and on the front hand side, I laid down a cobblestone staircase. I laid down two cobblestone and as well cobblestone staircases right there. And then along the rest of the walls, I laid down cobblestone. In the openings, we're going to go ahead and place doors later. With all the acacia pillars, I went ahead and on the left hand side brought them up five more. And the other four, I brought up eleven more. Now this is where the build is going to start to get a little complex, so I'm going to go ahead and try to slow down for you guys so you can pause it and continue as usual. Here in the front, we're going to go ahead on the left hand side and lay down window pane, four high, and then an upside down cobblestone staircase. Along this left hand wall here, I'm going to go ahead and bring up two high on wool, and we'll start the rest of this wall later because it will be a window. Along the back, this is going to actually be a door, so we're going to take a cobblestone staircase upside down. And then on this side, we're going to go ahead and lay down wool, because we're not going to have a window located here. For this far right wall, we're going to go ahead and bring up wool all the way around into a 3x4. Above the wool, we're going to go ahead and lay down two upside down cobblestone staircases, and then two glass panes. For the front here, you're going to go ahead and lay two upside down staircases because this is going to be the front door. Moving on with our design, we're going to go ahead and take brown wool and then place them on top of the door frame. We're going to take stone staircasing and play it sit down and then upside down stone staircasing above that. This design actually follows around most of this building, so we're going to go ahead and continue it.
When we get to this little extension above the back door, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone staircase, a window pane, and then an upside down stone staircase. Along this wall, we're going to go ahead and take brown wool and bring it up three high, and place a window right here. Now that we're getting to our third floor, we're going to go ahead and take brown wool and then place it all along all three exterior sides. You're going to go ahead and bring up the wool, two more just along these two edges. Taking stone staircases, you're going to lay two down, make a space, and then lay two upside down. And you're going to do that with all of them. You go ahead and lay regular cobblestone right there on those corners, and then the upside down staircases here. And don't forget to lay in the glass pane. For this wall, along the same Z axis as all of these, we can go ahead and lay down cobblestone blocks. Taking regular stone, we're going to go ahead and bring it too high along all of the surfaces. We're going to go ahead and move on to the lower roof. We're going to take dark oak wood planks and bring them up too high in this pattern. You're going to go ahead and take the dark oak wood stairs, facing them inwards towards the rest of the house on this lower portion. And in this pattern for the upper portion. For this part, you're going to go come inside and you're going to lay them upside down facing outward. Now we're going to go ahead and create a window for this roof. We're going to take cobblestone staircases, placing them downward, and then upside down cobblestone staircases above that. We're going to take our window pane and place it inside. And then finally we're going to take dark oak wood slabs and above lay four right there. And we are done with our lower roof. For the top roof, it's actually much easier. You're going to go ahead and lay a square of dark oak wood planks on each side. Bring dark oak wood stairs all the way across. And then from the inside, you're going to lay down dark oak wood stairs upside down. And then from the top, lay them across again. Let's go ahead and get started with the interior. We're going to go ahead and start with our wall by taking dark oak wood planks and making a 3x3. Three three. We're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood stairs, lay it down, take a half slab right up here, and we're going to lay that down and then bring dark oak wood stairs all the way up to the next floor. Laying a half slab right here. We're going to take half slabs all the way across the floor. Now you've completed the second floor. To continue to the third floor, you're going to go ahead and lay down dark oak wood planks in a 2 by 3 area. You're going to take dark oak wood stairs, lay them down, Take dark oak wood slab, and you're going to continue the same process yet again. On the third floor, you're going to go ahead and also add a half slab right here, and bring ladders all the way up to the roof, so that way you have access to the attic. And create the floor for the attic, you're going to go ahead and lay dark oak wood slabs, except for everywhere where you have access to the attic. Now we're going to go ahead and furnish the whole house. 
I'm going to go ahead and take double doors and from the inside lay them down. And here on the back we're going to go ahead and lay down a furnace, a double chest, and a crafting table. On the second floor, because I know this whole entire house has a lot of storage, I simply just lay down one chest because I didn't want to make it too cluttered. On the third floor, I went ahead and laid down two double chests, one beneath the window and then one above the window. I took a bed and laid it along this wall and made sure to leave plenty of room so that way you had access to the attic. For the attic, a lot of the storage is actually placed above. I went ahead and took chests and trap chests right next to each other. For this wall, I went ahead and laid down a row of furnaces, a crafting bench on the end, and then the rest was filled with anvils. Finally, I went ahead and I made sure to place the door on the back of the basement that we already previously decorated. And that is it for today's build, guys. Thank you again for being very patient as I was recovering. Also, thank you to Garrett Hamilton for the comment request. And finally, thank you guys for watching my videos. If you guys have any questions, critiques, or ideas, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And if you guys would like to see any more of my videos, please feel free to subscribe. Again, thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.